now the first step is to try community server now for this you can go to the game and then go to community and then you can browse servers and then you can connect to any community server and then you can check now still not working the next step is to use ethernet connection so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable you can use the wired connection and then you can check you can even switch to different network so if you have any other network available you can switch to different network and then you can check still not working you can even use phone hotspot now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot now you can connect to your phone network over here uh, once you find the phone network you can connect to your phone network and then check still not working you can lock the fps like four to five frame below the monitor's refresh rate in nvidia control panel for example if your monitor refresh rate is 144 then you can lock the fps at maybe 140 or maybe 139 this is just an example so you can go to desktop and make our active on the desktop and then click on show more option then click on nvidia control panel now once nvidia control panel is open now go to manage 3d settings go to global settings and find maximum frame rate and you can just turn it on and whichever is the late your monitor whatever is your monitor refresh rate you can try to lower it down maybe four to five frame below so for me this is just an example 144 so i will just set it to 140 and then click on ok and then at the bottom right hit apply over here and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work go to program settings over here and then click on add over here select the game exe file if you don't see the game over here you can click on browse go to the game installation folder and select the game exe file select high performance nvidia processor over here and then again find maximum frame rate and then you can turn it on if the monitor refresh rate is 144 you can try 140 over here click on ok bottom right again hit apply and then you can relaunch the game and then check now the next step is to enable xmp profile in system bios you can increase the xmp profile to maximum you can skip this step if your system bios does not have this option or your bio does not allow to make changes so enable the xmp profile this has worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to lower down cp usage to lower down cp usage you can follow the steps from this video i made a separate video on this how to lower down cp usage so you can follow the steps from this video this has also worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to set up ram into dual channel mode do not try this step if you're not sure about it and if you can't do it you can take help from your pc manufacturer so if your computer has a dual channel memory motherboard then make sure that ram is set up for dual channel now for this the two memory modules should be placed into slots labeled one or three one and three or two and four to create dual channel memory configuration now dual channel requires you to install the modules the memory modules to alternate slots not by side by side but actually alternate slot for example if your motherboard has a four uh, motherboard has four slot this is just an example then the first memory module should be installed in the first slot and the second memory module should be in the third slot so make sure that you have this uh, configuration uh, for your ram if you have a dual channel memory motherboard now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to go to Razer Synapse. So if you're using this application, you can turn on the boost. If it is set to balance, you can turn on the boost and then you can check. Next step is to turn off frame generation and lock the FPS. You can go to advanced graphics and then you can turn off the frame generation, turn it off and then you can lock the FPS at 60. So and frame rate limiter and then you can set it to 60 over here now you can check now 
the last step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then from graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the game folder and then select this exe file click on add once the game is added click on it and then select high performance over here again click on add desktop app open sp folder select this exe file click on add once it is added again select high performance over here and then relaunch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the problem so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel